A Congress will be ending its session in a few weeks on schedule to wrap up just before Christmas, and that means dozens of lawmakers will be leaving as well, including Catholic Republican Senator Mike Braun of Indiana. But he is not leaving politics. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with more. Eric. Well, good evening, Tracy. It's great to be with you. Yes, uh, pro-life Senator Mike Braun is leaving the Senate after only one term, but he won't be stepping out of the limelight. He's been elected governor of his home state of Indiana. I recently caught up with Senator Braun, who says he's happy with what he's been able to accomplish here in Washington. We got more legislation passed than any freshman Senate office over the last six years. Education, health care, agriculture. Started a climate caucus, so the conservatives are involved in that discussion and getting conservative legislation passed. Before coming to the Senate, Mike Braun started a small business, founding what is now Meyer Distributing, a multi-million dollar company hauling truck and automotive specialty products, marketing and distribution. As governor, he tells me he's looking forward to showing Indiana what a businessman can do. I'll go back to setting the agenda, getting along with the legislature, and I wanna show what an entrepreneurial, conservative can do to fix kitchen table issues. He adds he also wants to focus on health care costs and be a model for other states. We got some of the highest health care costs in the country. Fixed it in my own business 16 years ago and got healthier employees that are cons health care consumers. I give them the wellness tools. I want to do that into our own state employees and try to get Indiana where it's not dominated by big insurance and big hospitals, but where we bring practitioners back into play. And other things he wants to do as governor? Like Workforce, education, rural broadband, child care, affordable housing. That's kind of what I did many years in building a business. Senator Braun also tells me his Catholic faith has played a major role in his life. Putting the Lord first is essential. Well, I ask for guidance every day. Uh, it's a blessing uh, that you get the opportunity to do this. And uh, I know who I thank for that. And uh, I've been blessed to be raised in a family where faith was very important, along with family and the community you're from. I always run on faith, family, and community. Throw a little freedom and opportunity in there, you can't go wrong. I asked him his advice for new lawmakers. He said, be practical. He says, life uh, actually allows you to work across the aisle, and that's what they should be doing up in Congress. Braun says that he'll be sworn in as Indiana's 52nd governor on January 13th, 2025. But just a, a great man with some great ideas there for Indiana, Tracy. Absolutely. Congratulations to him, and we'll be praying for him yes. in his new position. Thank you so much, Eric.